Nice. Let me get this video mm-hmm. back around there so we can look at it when we play. Give me a clap there. <laughs> <laughs> one, one good one. Oh, God. Oh, that was like three at <laughs> once. Oh, jeez, guys. <laughs> one, one good one. All right, we're off to a great start uh, with our very first Short Sleeve Heart podcast. We're here with Gatsby's Fiddle. They're going to play us some songs tonight in our, our little house here. Um, and uh, so It's anyway, not very little. Uh, I guess I not. I gotta say, yeah, a lot not, of rooms in this not, house. Definitely not for this area. Um, welcome, guys. We're so excited to have you here. It's the first Thanks. time we're doing this. This is uh, it's been kind of our uh, vision since we we found this place, and we're like, oh, we have room to do things that are cool, and have bands over, and um, you know, kind of our vision for this is really just to, you know, uh, bring the community together and 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 meet bands and then have bands over, record them, and uh, and. You know, that's, uh, that's our plan, man. So we're really excited to have you here. And uh, I don't know, Wes, tell me, tell me a little bit about the band. Tell, oh. me, tell me where you guys uh, met, you know, like how long you've been together, I and mean, what's going on with you guys. <laughs> um, so Gatsby's nice. Fiddle started like six years ago now, and it was when I left another band that I was actually playing bass in. And so I started writing songs and just putting together my first record. And then Dan joined the group about four years ago now and that was kind of the big turning point when it felt like I finally had a solid second person and writer in Dan and so we just were doing studio based projects for a while and then when we uh, moved back to California because we did a stint in South Carolina for work which was really boring um, we came back to California and then we wound up meeting Allison and Amanda just doing shows in Hemet in our hometown kind of playing at these like crappy dive bars which can basically make up Hemet. There's like Do you guys know where Hemet is? So what is Hemet? Uh, let me preface. So, yeah. so we're all from the East Coast. So all right. Okay. Part, part of this is just us getting to know everyone in LA because, yeah. you know, we haven't been here that long. So, uh, yeah, tell us where Hemet well, is. Well, Hemet is a magical land. It's in the golden <laughs> triangle, as I call it, between uh, Los Angeles, San Diego, and Hemet. It's an all equal distance from each other. Oh, cool. It has a lot of like metaphysical what, so OC? Uh, meaning. No, no, no. It's like in the desert. Oh, it's in the desert. So okay. it's like um, Hemet is a shock roll alignment. Yeah. So the show Breaking Bad, they wanted to shoot it in Hemet, uh, in okay. that area. Good and visual. They filmed in New Mexico for right. probably tax reasons, but um, yeah. that's where we're from. So we're from like a small desert community. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> No, no, this is going to be happening a lot. No, this is good. Oh, this is live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very DIY, yeah, so... This is how it works. You're going to see this dude's yeah, start uh, bald head pop up. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Uh. But anyway, that's where we're from. And so, but what's cool is that Hemet, despite being a really small town, has a really thriving music community there. So a lot of our friends are playing music, recording music. There's probably like six venues that you could play as a full band in Hemet, which is crazy. So that's where we met... Two of these young ladies, they were playing in another group, and they were playing a Frank Zappa song, and that's when I fell in love with this one, with the space on the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, we were playing a, I think it was Muffin Man from Frank Zappa. Oh, very cool. And um, we, our other band plays a lot of Frank Zappa covers, and he freaked out. Like, he was like one guy that was like, oh my god! The one drunk guy in a Hemet bar on like a Wednesday that, night. Right. <laughs> he, like, he yelled, and that's how we all met. And, right. um, and then I... I guess I moved in with them like a year later, and uh, you guys turned out to need a bassist and a drummer, and we sort of jumped bands to join Wesley's band, and we've been having a lot of fun in Gatsby's Fiddle. Cool. Yeah. It's like the Von Trapp family, without the Nazis. <laughs> My, well, yeah. <laughs> wait on that one. <laughs> oh. It's next week's interview. Yeah. Yes. Right, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's really cool. Well, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna have you perform. Can you tell us the songs you're performing tonight? So we are going to do a song called Shaving Legs and okay. a song called What's the Equation off of the newest album, Coincidence Lottery, which you can find on Spotify now. Very cool. Awesome. Mm-hmm.
house I am keeping To keep myself from seeing The cracks in the wall And the holes in the floor I can't shave your legs Or rip down the moon It seems we cracked a bit too The story of me and you We fell in love And we fell apart Messy bed I am keeping To keep myself from dreaming About Each of you, you know, being in the band, um, you know, being together only about a year now, you know, making things cohesive. How how do you make that work as a band, and what are some of the things that you have found have been beneficial as far as reaching out and getting out into the LE scene? That has actually been a challenge. Um, do hitting the the LA hustle and like going to shows and doing all that, like that's part of it, but it it's proven to be much more difficult in terms of booking, at least at like decent venues or reputable venues. Because there's a lot of places to play out here, but places that actually have a draw, places that have good sound systems or just like decent bookers, mm -hmm. that's a bit more few and far between. So I've just been going out to a lot of shows, basically, and just trying to meet people and get to know people. Like we all met at the Dresden just totally mm -hmm. randomly, like, mm -hmm. you know. Or was it? <laughs> or yeah, I know. Or was it? Because we're here right now. We, we were playing together. We were playing together. Yeah, so that was that was yeah. right. Like yeah. so, otherwise we wouldn't have connected. So that's been my experience. There's there's a lot going on out here, which is really exciting and cool to experience. But also, it can create a sense of overwhelm at times, where you just kind of wonder, like, am I just spinning my wheels, or like, does anyone really care? Am I really making connections? And then you wind up here, and you're like, oh, this is really awesome. Like, mm -hmm. made friends with someone at a show, and. Right. Mm -hmm. Got this nice dog. You got this nice dog, turtle. <laughs> turtle. Yeah. Yeah. turtle. I have a question. Um, our bands have something similar in co common. We have two females in our band. You guys have two females in your band. And I'm just wondering how that plays out. You know, like how how is that like your dynamic with having two females in the band? For me, it's personally a dream come true because I think having a multi-gender band was something I always wanted because I've only ever played with like male musicians right. as a band until meeting them. Um, so I think it's really great. I think like having like feminine energy in your band is like totally on point. Like I think it gives it a vibe, a feel, mm -hmm. and the fact that they're both percussion or like rhythm section and they played together so long in other bands, it's a very unique opportunity that like I don't take for granted. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, because usually you see, I mean, typically stereotyping, a lot of bands when it's mixed gender, you see the females up front and the rhythm section. You know, I'm thinking of bands. Yeah, we throw the throughout this we, We're <laughs> trying. Yeah, we don't want. You know, yeah. When you think about like Heart or Fleetwood Mac or like a lot of the famous mixed gender bands, is that. And you guys have flipped it where 
It's the muscular rhythm section. It's the female. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And it's the uh, flex in there. Showy, <laughs> yeah. showy like guitar and vocals are up front with the guys, and that's very yeah. opposite of I think what most people are used but to. But I think that really, really cool. translates into our real lives, though. Yeah, we really are the guys. We're kind of really <laughs> the guys here. Yeah, they have a lot Honestly. of masculine energy. We might sure. be the masculine energy. Yeah, <laughs> I think you two are the feminine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're like. Pick up your dish. Pick up your dish. <laughs> like we're just gonna Look scrub ourselves down with lush products. <laughs> yeah. That's great, guys. Uh, is there anything you want to tell us uh, to uh, for fans to find you besides you guys are on Spotify? You guys are on. Uh, we have a website, GatsbysFiddle.com. We we own that domain, actually. Well, no, no one, one else. No one else has it. Yeah. And yeah, and Spotify, and we're currently working on a new EP that we'll be re releasing in like March or April, mm -hmm. and. Second act of the evening, Miss Donna James. All right. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Thanks so much for having us, you guys. Absolutely. Nice. Thanks for dope. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for taking the trek out tonight. This is pretty not sweet. Not bad. Not bad yeah. at all. Yeah, it's not too bad. The ways uh, parted for me. That's great. <laughs> yeah, mine did not. 
so uh, so we've been we've been checking out the uh, the record. Uh, so what what uh, when did the record come out? Last year. Last year. I dropped it on my birthday. On your birthday. Yes. Just what's made your, it a big day. What's your sign? <laughs> I'm an Aries. Aries. Nice. Lila would know more about that. I would. So, and actually, taking the Aries. Aaron, the, Aaron um, the Capricorn is the golden Aries. Is the Yes. See, right? Yes. Two are? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. So two horned animals. But horned animals, where are you from? I am from Las Vegas. Amazing. What brought you to? People are from Las Vegas? Yes. Wow. We exist. Holy shit. Most of them are my age or younger. <laughs> but we exist. The natives. You grew up in Las Vegas? Mm -hmm. okay. Born and raised. Yeah. Like, and I left for like school. In but North Las Vegas? Yeah. High school? Well, high school? You are uh, not part of this. Las Vegas Academy? Or? That's very Of the performing and visual arts? <laughs> Man, of course you did. <laughs> Kristen, where did you grow up? I went, I'm from Binghamton, New York. What? <laughs> there is. God, we got New York. Uh, I know. Something's World happening over there. Rochester. Rochester. Oh, hey. it's going to get better. Buffalo. So uh, Everyone thinks I'm usually from Buffalo. Buffalo's not better. Oh, I'm just saying it's going to get better because there's more of us, is all I'm saying. I'm okay. I'm like, I'm I'm I don't think that was a dick. It just came out funny. I was like, because we're... Not very proud That's not right. Buffalo's proud. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so how long have you guys been playing together? We were trying to Two figure that years. out. Two yeah. years? We, we had to <laughs> think <laughs> and like count. <laughs> but it's been two years. Yeah. Which is crazy. I was not expecting to even stay in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But somehow well, I'm still here. How long have you been here. in L.A.? So two and a half, yeah. Two and a half years. Yeah, we met you guys met, after. started playing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when you guys play out live... We have uh, Donna's singer, Kristen's drummer. Mm -hmm. Do you guys feel like, like what's, what's the live setup usually? We normally have the same um, person who joins us, my producer, Jake Knox, for the EP. He normally plays um, out with us. Guitar. We do a lot. Yeah. It's normally just guitar. And then we added in bass. We did do bass when she goes full. Yeah. Full, full set. Full drum set. Nice. We'll, we'll fill it out, but um, yeah. we've been digging the acoustic vibe a lot lately. Cool. Yeah. On the record, you guys, it's a big record. You guys have a horn section. You guys have uh, yeah. a, lot a, lot of of yeah. a lot of sounds. A lot of sounds. You know, I, I like we all, we all talked. We all heard this thing. Do you have a Do you have any kind of musical theater background or any any performance like that? Because we, uh, yeah. we kind of all heard that. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I mean. <laughs> I was actually classically trained in Italian opera for a long time, Amazing. and wow. then LVA, my high school, is very like musical theater and classical, and I never really fell that into it. Musical theater has a lot of physical priorities. There's not a lot of roles for the short, <laughs> glittery half breed, but I love the music, <laughs> you know. Um, but I like big band influences and like musical theater, and I like skipped rock and roll. My family skipped it. It went like Motown 90s. Like, I don't know what <laughs> happened in between. And I'm like discovering it. It's very exciting. But cool. I definitely missed that. <laughs> yeah. I did too. I mean, I'm classically trained. So Maybe this orchestra. is why we bonded. <laughs> yeah. Discovering so, this new world. So how would you describe your guys' sound now? I, I call it rock and soul. Rock and soul. Yeah. A little funky. I you usually say... She's got a little grit to her, which mm -hmm. is why I like her. Cool. And that, that usually sells people into like, oh, cool. Right. I go here. Just a little edge. A little, a little grit. Just a little. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're going to play some songs. I'm actually going to join. Yeah, I was going to say. You, you are. Guys, are. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> uh, forgive me if I mess something up. It's going to be great. But uh, we ran it earlier, I think. Hopefully it'll be all right. Felt good. I have had, a, like, this is the first beers I've had in, like, a month, so. I think that my music gets better the okay. drunker I, you are. <laughs> that would usually be the free. case for me, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, I'll, let's do it. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah. 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 That was good. I enjoyed to hear you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited. That was awesome. less nerve wracking than I thought it was. But to say you and me were special is speaking 
to have two very strongly, oh. you know, energized, uh, <laughs> like, feminine energy with yeah. your band and when you carry that. And I feel like, you know, talking about your background, yes, with musical theater, you know, yes, with orchestra, but there is that grit. There is a lot of emotion, and that's definitely come across both in your lyrics, but also just in your song, the way that you crescendo, you decrescendo. So, you know, being a musician now, going from Vegas to L.A., like, how do you feel like being gritty, you know, and, and being hot, like, how do you bring that to LA to stand out in a, in a crowd of hundreds and thousands of people every day trying to do the same thing? Yeah, I mean, you said such nice things, I'm like, <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> um, thank you for that. I, I feel like I've had an inverse reaction to what I've heard, I've had a lot of friends, I moved out at the same time as a couple of friends, and um, they kind of got here, and LA has ideas of what is hot and like what is the standard um, and they kind of had this reaction of feeling like less and I, I I feel prettier here I think it's because there's a lot that looks this, the same yeah. so 
I don't know. I, I think distinction has always been attractive to me. Like the odd thing has always been good. And now I'm the odd thing. Mm. Um, but there's definitely that line, like the hot, the too hot. And, you know, me and yeah. my family disagree a little bit on <laughs> what is that line. But, you know, mm. it's there's yeah. a point to it. You know, we can be whatever the hell we want to be. Um, well, guys, uh, do you want to tell us where people can find you online? Yeah. Um, and just talk about a little bit about, you know, the record. Oh, yeah. All that stuff. First EP, um, definitely a labor of love and <laughs> still can't believe it happened. <laughs> um, we just decided and it, it happened. Um, find us anywhere at MissDonnaJames.com, at MissDonnaJames on all the twiddly Insta That's D-A-N-A. I'm really easy to find. <laughs> Donna James, not Donna Summers. I really Summers. like to put myself out there. Just miss Dana James, DonnaJames.com. You start us off, right? Okay. You ready? Yeah, don't play this <laughs> Not you, me. Okay. Hello, friend. You call me friend. You say it's good to hear. Well, I just wanted to tie this loose end But you say I cross your mind now and then Don't act surprised You're not surprised You know you need only bite your time I try, oh, I try, and I almost made it out alive, yeah, this time.